Hello, so let's now review how to remote debug any website on a Windows phone using the Windows Phone emulator and Visual Studio. The first thing you need to do is to download the free version of Visual Studio named Express for Windows, including the update 2, which is really important to have if you want to be able what I'm going to do just after that. So it's a free version, you can download it without any issue. And once you download it and install it, you need to launch it. And the first time you will launch it, you probably don't have the exact same color I've got. So if you want to change it, just go over there, type theme, and then launch the settings, and you will probably be in the dark one by default. So I rather prefer using the blue one, that's why I'm setting the blue one. It's better also to, to better see what's going on on the screen for the webcast. So once you've done that, we're going to press the debug button go to other debug targets and then press the debug Windows Phone Internet Explorer option. Then it's going to ask you which version of the emulator you you'd like to use. It's, uh, it's matching the various devices we got on the market currently, so different size and resolution. You can even remote debug your own device when you're connecting it via the USB port. So what we're going to use in this demonstration is the 4-inch version, and we're going to connect to our official Babylon GS website. So let's pass, st press the Start Debugging button. It's going to connect to the Windows Phone emulator on the right, navigate to the website you've specified, and then it's going to load the DOM and the various scripts. So you can think you can navigate inside the DOM Explorer in a classic way, or you can press this button, which is the select element button, if you like to. Doing that, then if I'm, for instance, clicking on the train thumbnail, it's going to navigate directly in the DOM on the right place. And then I can modify whatever I want on the CSS part to modify the layout. So this is the first thing you can to do. It's verify your CSS, your HTML, and do whatever you want doing that. The second part you can do is to debug your JavaScript code. So let's, for instance, take the line.js file, open it by double-clicking on it. Then you can set a breakpoint in two ways. You can set a breakpoint on the first line by clicking in the left column over there, or you can right-click and then breakpoint, insert a breakpoint. Once you've done that, the last thing we need to do is to learn the code. So you've got to do whatever you need to do on your own website to do that. I'm going to click on the specific demo, which is a line demo in the feature test section of our website. Then you can see that I've got a breakpoint. I can then review what's going on in the in the JavaScript parts. I can press F10 to jump line by line and then roll over some of the variable to check what's going on inside them and check if everything is okay. Then you can set another breakpoint, for instance, here. I'm going to press F5 to jump directly to this line of code. You see that I've jumped the, the, the for loop. And lastly, I can set a last breakpoint over there and press continue, which is the same thing as pressing F5. Removing the breakpoint, you can see now I can verify that my code is running fine on the Windows phone and I can at any time break again my code by pressing a breakpoint over there and then check what's going on in the in this for loop, for instance, and check the various data of my current web GLC, but it could be whatever you like. So thank you for watching.